And hello again, I'm Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Warburg, for the 35th episode of the Mr. Warburg Show. Alongside me again for the second week in a row is Chris. Hello. We're at his uh, nerd bunker in an undisclosed location in Iowa, where last week, as of the time of this recording, we had seen Killing Joke. Obviously, we're going to keep the Batman train rolling here. And I would talk about Star Trek with him, but this dude hasn't seen it yet, so screw him, right? It's awesome. Everyone go watch it. Anyway... Biggest Batman nerd ever to recap from last thing, you know, last week's thing. I prefer aficionado. <laughs> okay. You're, yeah. Y- whatever. So, Chris, you're very steeped in Batman lore and culture and everything sure. about the character. So, rank your Batman for us, including all animated and live action. Do we want to go six? Do you want do you, me to do, do them have, all, or you just want me to do... Do the ones people are going to know and give a shit about. Okay, so we're leaving out the 30s and 40s. <laughs> no, no, I don't care. No. They um, don't, they, they, most people don't even know they exist. So Fair enough. So, um, well, we'll start at the bottom. Um, I'd say probably my least favorites would be... Um, Started at the bottom, now we're here. I had to. I had to. Chris, just cue the leaf. <laughs> Um. Well, do your list first. Okay, my list. My list is going to be shorter than Chris because I'm not familiar with every single Batman that ever walked the earth, as by seen by this two thousand dollar bat suit. Um, I'm going to go. It's hard to, hard to like pick one out. Um, right. for the live action, I'm going to stick mostly live action with some of the more iconic cartoon ones, but that's there's really only one, maybe two. And the two is actually a fairly close second. Still a decent There's gap, but it's close. For me. But I'm talking like top of the heap. There's two at the top. One way ahead, but the second one ain't that far behind. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Yeah, I think you know you, you know who I'm I know talking, who you're about. talking about. Because he was awesome in the, in two different in a movie and a series. So he definitely has a leg up on a lot of the others. Just he do was your both. list, man. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm building drama. God. Anyway, uh, my least favorite, George Clooney. Uh, decent Bruce Wayne, shitty Batman. Then I have to say Val Kilmer, because he was just kind of shitty both. Uh, but to a lesser extent than Clooney's bad Batman. You know what I mean? Like, not quite as bad, but just equally bad on both fronts. Uh, so then I'd maybe have to say... And this is where we kind of go from bad to, to decent and above. Um, I'd have to go bail. Because I didn't like his Batman very much, but he had a pretty awesome Bruce Wayne. Especially Batman Begins. That was pretty awesome. When he's just like, I own this hotel. It was great. Very good scene. And my phone just buzzed. I don't wear hockey pants. And, and that was more writing, I think, than just him. So I, I will give him the benefit of the doubt. Because he is a very good actor. You know, I don't think <sighs> it was all his decision to do it that way. Swear to me. <laughs> hey. I mean, there were some very cool moments in that film. And I like the way they portrayed his fighting style. That was friggin' cool. Uh, definitely was a badass Batman. Maybe not the most detective y Batman, but he could kick a lot of ass. Uh, plus, he had a great racial goal. But I'll hold my opinion until my turn. <laughs> I'm not, again, I'm saying decent, not good. There's a very big difference between decent and good. Uh, so then I'd have to say jumping to cartoons, Bruce Greenwood. And then I'm going to go Michael Keaton. Then I'm going to go Kevin Conroy, because that's the only answer there is. Period. That's my is top. Is like your number one? Oh, he's not. I didn't even list him. Mostly because we've only gotten one shot of him in live action. And there's not enough to judge because it was an ensemble film. What about Adam West? Not up there. <laughs> Sorry. That's not Batman. That's 60s campy shit that's not Batman. Not not anymore. And you don't get credit for being the most popular w- back in the day. Sorry. So that is, what did I list? Six? I don't know. I'm just going to list all the ones that come to mind. <laughs> Go from worst to best. Wow, what's with you? All right, so my worst would have to be Clooney. I agree with you on that. Clooney is the worst. High five. That was terrible. Clooney is by far the worst. Um, He had the look down, but that was it. I mean... Plus, that whole movie was just like... uh, I mean, with Clooney, you get Chris O'Donnell, who I hated as Robin. Absolutely hated as Robin. Yeah. He's great on NCIS. That's also 20 years later. Think about that. But he was an annoying little shit in Batman and Robin. Yep. 
and not not just so, not a good movie all around. And they completely screw over the uh, Barbara Gordon storyline. So yeah, I, mean, I don't even care about that movie. Let's yeah. move on. Yeah. Um. So after that, I would say, um. Adam West after that for me. Okay. Just because with Adam West, I would throw in also his performance in Super Friends. Again. Because I grew up with Super Friends, too. Yes, Even though I'm younger than you. (laughs) Yeah. I watch cartoons a lot. You're only younger than me by a year. Two. Year. One. 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 Yeah, you were one year behind me. Fair enough. (laughs) Um, But yeah, plus with with Adam West, you get his his portrayal. I mean, first you get the car. I mean, the 66 Batmobile was a sexy-ass car. The character is not the car. That's the that's the universe stuff. I don't care. I love the car. You know, it's not included. He gets we're points because of the car. We're talking the character, not the toys, and nothing else. Just the character, <laughs> not part of the not part of the character. And plus, I, I and my, one of my favorite episodes of the animated series is the Grey Ghost, which he yeah. Voiced. So, yeah, but I mean, that's not Batman. That's a different but if character. he wasn't Batman, it wouldn't have ever happened because that episode it would have been is, somebody else. No, they wouldn't have done it because they did it as a tribute to Adam West. They if, wrote it around if, if Adam, Adam West. West had, if Adam West hadn't existed and had been somebody else in the 60s, there would have been a Grey Ghost episode with somebody else. If Adam West hadn't existed, there might not have been a Batman series. Yeah, there would have been. It was studio talent. They just plugged someone into that role. It just happened you know to what? be Speed Adam Force. West. Speed Force, okay? Speed Force. Flashpoint. <laughs> yeah, that's the comic book things. We're talking talent, talent in the 60s ran, was ran much Doesn't different matter. than it is today. That's my excuse out of this. Moving on. Next. So George Clooney, Adam West. Um, beware of the Batman. It was a decent show. Uh, yeah, it definitely did not get the credit it deserved. No, it had legs, and it could have... Who voiced him? I don't even know. Yeah. It was okay. I liked the Alfred. I liked that they made yeah. Alfred a badass. Well, yeah, which he um, should be. Which he should never be able to punch Superman, but whatever. Oh, it works in Injustice, though. Yeah, Injustice, it's a thing, but like because he's like got a kryptonite pill cocktail, so it works. But like in that comic book, nah, it didn't work. Alfred is the most badass member of the whole Batman family. Ah, uh, true. True. Michael Caine, come on. <laughs> no, not Michael Caine. Jeremy oh. Irons is a better Alfred. Yo. Jeremy Irons is fucking awesome. Yes, yes, Jeremy Irons was one of my favorite parts of Time. Like just, if there is another generation of Waynes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great sarcasm. I love this dude. His sarcasm game was on point. Hell yeah. On point. Moving on, what else we got? Um, after that, I would probably say... Um, Brave and the Bold. You like to really be loud when you come in, and then you quiet way off. Sorry, this is going to be man. fun to edit. <laughs> you want me to get closer? I'll get closer. Ah, yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, Brave and the Bold, I'd say, would be my next oh, one. Oh, yeah, Dietrich Bader? Yes, Dietrich Bader it. was good. I didn't say Will Arnett. <laughs> Lego Batman was awesome. I'm He's not going to rank list. Will Arnett because he is not Batman. He's a Batman parody. <laughs> You could Although his Lego Batman movie looks funny. I will see that. Um, you could basically say Adam West is the Batman parody now. If it was if it, that show came out today, it'd be a parody. That's why I didn't list him either. Because it's just not, it's not what we know as Batman right now. Mo- moving, on, um, moving on. Yeah, Dietrich Bader. Brave Dietrich Bader's pretty awesome. I like the show. It was campy. It had that 60s feel, but it also kind of had that Silver Age comics feel. And then they would just kind of like, wham! Yeah. Picture sometimes. Well, I mean, I love the the Silver Age and the Golden Age, like um, Justice League, oh, yeah. uh, New Frontier, yep. when that came out. I mean, I yep. love that callback to the early stuff. I didn't like that Batman. Eh. Wrong voice. That voice was off, but I liked the movie in general. Oh, yeah, the movie was okay. It was good. It's a Flash story, so oh, I'm plus cool with it's it. um, uh, Darwin Cook's art. I yeah. love Darwin Cook, so I mean, you know. Um, Moving on. After that, I would say Bale. Okay. Um, <laughs> Bale was not I mean he had the outfit but he was the worst detective of all of them writing but whatever but if we're taking that's just it, defending the character it's not a great character no of, of um, I'm gonna do a lot of shit for this but you know I don't I don't care for the Nolan verse that terribly much um, but you know it's it's okay but um yeah, I mean, my my big complaint with him is the writing. I mean, because they gave him because it's I not mean, a superhero movie; it's a it's a crime thriller. Yeah, which but that, that works with Batman. But the reason I didn't like it was mainly Rachel. Yeah, I mean, because Batman should not be pining after a chick for three movies. It's not how he rolls. No, I mean, not he's unless avenging it's Selena his Kyle parents or death. Diana of Themyscira. I don't give a shit. Yeah, nobody does. And then I mean, plus they screwed over Two Face Road, but that's a whole whole yep. another story. 
Um, but yeah, Bale, he was all right. His voice was over the top. He he, he was a good good, good uh, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I liked his Bruce Wayne. What else we got? Um, Do you have Kilmer above Bale? I have Kilmer above Bale. All right, that's a bold statement. Okay, so that came out, what, 95? Did he have two? Maybe no, one. one. That's what I thought. Okay, 89, 92, 95. That was at peak, peak Kilmer. Yes, it was, I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's okay. That's like Ghost in the Darkness. Again, Kilmer. I think I think Bale and Kilmer are closer They're on the scale. They're pretty equals to me. Yeah. Um, which is not to say great things. Kilmer was a good Batman. I mean, he he I liked. Um, he played the darker side up a little bit. He had the look for Bruce Wayne. Um, hung upside down. Hung, <laughs> that, yeah, well, that was a thing. That was a thing. That was Keaton. Keaton hung upside down. No, Kilmer did it too, didn't he? I swear, I so. she walked in and he was upside down. No, that was Vicky. Vicky Vale. Vicky. Yeah, Vicky it was. Bale. <laughs> I'm. Oh man, I'm. I'm off frame. That My was, bad. That was eighty nine. Batman a tight. right there. That was Jack Nicholson. You know, Kim Basinger. Yeah. Good times. Um, I might have to cut in the Vicky Vale from Chuck to fix that audio. <laughs> so moving on after Kilmer. Um, but yeah, I, I like Kilmer. I liked I liked Forever, but I was like four when it came out. So I exactly, mean, it's kind of hard to judge. It's that nostalgia one. glasses. It's the same yep. way with with watching Clooney. Um, no, that no, you do not watch Batman Forever with rose colored glasses, or Batman exactly. and Robin. Sorry. I yeah. do when I'm, you know, no, bored. No, no, you don't. You don't. <laughs> period. Um, I, not even frickin' whatever the dumbass who made it was. I don't even want to say his name. I'm so confused as who you're talking about. Just move on. Um, after that, I would put Peter Weller. Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight Part Returns. one and two. Part one and two. Very good. Uh, very good adaptation. Um, yeah, probably, probably like I said in the last video, probably my favorite. Of all the adaptations, right under Under the Red Hood. And Under the Red Hood would lead us to... Bruce Greenwood. Bruce I Greenwood. didn't say... I said Bruce Greenwood, but I didn't say why I liked him. Not just Under the Red Hood. He was Batman and Young Justice, and he was awesome. <laughs> Took no shit from anybody, and it was great. One of my favorite memes ever from Young Justice, where they're saying goodbye yeah. to all their family members. <laughs> yeah, you know? he's just like... Super, you know, super hugs and uh, mentor pats, and we'll see you all the fuck later then. Yeah, he was just like... <laughs> You guys get to deal with the dangerous shit. See ya! I'm out! <laughs> Mic drop! Uh, yeah, he did not give a fuck in that series, and it was great. He destroyed his voice, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. He almost had to have surgery before Into Darkness because of that series. And Killed a fantastic his... Christopher Pike, too. Good actor hey. all around. You know, oh, Bruce Greenwood's awesome. Fantastic. Let's move on. Um, you know, I wouldn't even put the new 52 movie guy on the list. Jason O'Mara? Yeah, I mean, he's all right. He but... doesn't have the... You need a certain level of just... Your voice needs to be... Intense. It's almost James Earl Jones, like, nobody else could be Vader type thing. Mm-hmm. You need to elicit a certain emotion. And Greenwood, I think, comes the closest with the animated people to Conroy, who is the clear master. Yes, very true. I think Greenwood is the closest we've ever seen to a successor. But I don't think he could physically do it for more than one movie at a time. Honorable mention, though, um, Ben McKenzie in Year One. True, true. He was good. He was he was a good young portrayal. Yep. I have no idea where I'd rank him. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Not either. like we're doing a ranking video. We're just or throwing things off the cuff. So, you know, unless we say you're the worst, or you're Kevin Conroy, you're somewhere in the middle. So my top three. Number three, Batfleck. He was awesome. I loved him. I mean, he wasn't the most... He wasn't the most... Don't scream! Um, but I want to scream! <laughs> no. God, we are in a tiny enclosed space. <laughs> We're in the bat bunker, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's tiny and enclosed. It's That's why it's a bunker. <laughs> um, yeah, Batflake, though. I mean, uh, uh, the Justice League promo. That was pretty Not awesome. trailer, promo, whatever you want to call it. From <laughs> you Comic-Con can talk to Fish. Weekend. Great stuff. I mean, he's. It looks if, like if they you got look some, at the they're memes. injecting some humor into this, which is like, I think I, I want to say Jeff Johns had some help with this. Oh, definitely, definitely. And if he, you look at the memes of uh, from from comparing him after everyone stopped bitching about him, um, you know, I mean, he has the look of the animated series down, put into live action. Because he's built like a tank, like a tank, and he hits like one two in Batman vs Superman. Easily the best part of that film outside of Wonder Woman in like the three minutes she's in it. Oh, he's he's easily the best part. I mean, his whole that or Jeremy Irons, because as you know, we love Jeremy Irons. 
Be prepared, <laughs> Master <No>. Wayne. <laughs> 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 oh god alright so Fuck after Batfleck <laughs> after Batfleck <laughs> what do you got but no going off Batfleck still I, I mean fantastic he, he was by far the saving grace of of that Dawn sh- of Justice that, that shit show of a movie it was a shit I show loved it movie. when I first saw it I mean, it was a train wreck train wrecks can be fun to watch but they're still train wrecks it could have been improved. I didn't hate it. I mean, it's just like I watching... I'm not saying I hate it. I love when things crash. It's just like watching crash. Watchmen without the director's cut. Yeah, but the director's cut for Batman vs. Superman didn't fix a lot. Well, you can't fix Jesse Eisenberg. No, you cannot. Unless you make him Alexander Luther, and then you bring in Brian Cranston. just get the DC, Cranston. the movie universe, to do a Flashpoint Paradox, and boom, Michael Rosenbaum just happens to have a job in my Hollywood right now. Small tangent, Ezra Miller looks much better, though, from this trailer. Well, yeah, it's because he got rid of the ponytail, which he had at the time of that thing being shot, which they just shot in a random convenience store. Like they didn't even. But he's like, got the attitude down. He's got. Yeah. The, he's got the. He's definitely. He, he's going to be a great Barry. Another giving them Wally West's attitude more than Barry Allen's, but I don't. I'm okay with it. You I need mean, to. Who you really need to know you, what's the difference between you need to have him be distinct from the TV. So you need to. The suit looks pretty good. I'm not a fan of the armored look of everything. It looks kind of. It looks Power like Ranger-ish, injustice. But, you know. I didn't like the injustice flash. No. It looked like, no, I get that he's got speeds. He's got to be armored. Like, no, he, no, he doesn't. Like, so the TV show Flash, like, nailed it. And like, yeah, it's a thing that can withstand up to, like, what, how many thousand degree temperatures? And it's just yeah, a cloth. I mean, Cisco built it for firemen. Yeah. There you, there you go. It made sense. And it looks freaking cool as hell. So Especially we'll move, with the white look. We got to move on from Batfleck. This is a longer episode than what I wanted to do. So let's move on from Batfleck. <laughs> My number two would be Michael Keaton. You know, <laughs> several thousand dollar bat suit, you know, all that. Yeah. Precious. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I mean, Keaton, I mean, it was the first, I mean, you're going from West in the 60s to Keaton in 89, and just like Batfleck, no one thought he could do it, because he was a comedian. I mean, the only, th- th- Beetlejuice before or after? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I, I love Keaton. And plus you had Nicholson, which is still my favorite Joker, next to Hamill. Um, after Hamill for me. Yeah, next to after. And he's, I think Ledger's on the same level. His Joker was fucking awesome, We'll do dude. that video later after Leto his, comes out. His Joker was awesome. Get on, get get off that shit. Back to my ranking. Okay. Keaton would be my number two. Keaton, Keaton, pretty Keaton. Keaton yeah. number two. Partially for the suit, partially for the car. Um, Again, but, car's not the character. But it's not the character. For me, it all goes with the same package. It's, I've already we've delineated this in the in the video. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It matters for to me. It, it that I'm editing this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Keaton. I mean, because he was the first, even before Conrad, to do the dual voice. I mean, yeah. He, you know, and he just had that certain level of crazy in his eyes. <laughs> Yeah, they could pull off even with the you want to get let's let's get nuts, you know scene. Um, but yeah, uh, Keaton would be my number two, and then my number one, of course. There's is the only one choice. Kevin, I am vengeance. I am the night. I am Batman. And now you, can, now you can say swear to me. <laughs> and now because it's a killing swear. joke, you know, which uh, was a great uh, line. Do I have it? I don't have it on a poster. I thought I did. Um, That's a great line. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you. Who else has played Batman for twenty five years? Exactly. I mean, there's there. He is the cultural it's still touchstone. Going strong. Of when people are gonna talk about an animated movie or in any movie in general, he is like, he is at the top of everyone's favorite Batman. Everyone, live action or cartoon, mm-hmm. he's the top because he's motherfucking he is Kevin Batman. Conroy. Like you can't have a Batman property nowadays. People are going, who are you gonna cast? If it's not Kevin Conroy, I don't care. I mean, you, you look at you look at Batfleck's voice. Even he didn't try to do the Batman voice. Nope, He's like, he didn't no, try. I ain't touching it. Yep. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. I think he could actually do an awesome one because he's got that. And he did do it to a degree before they, you know, computerized it. Yeah. But um, I, I think I could see him doing an awesome one. I could see Carl Urban doing an awesome one. Carl Urban would be a good Batman. He'd have been an awesome Batman. Are you kidding me? But yeah, but by far, as everything in the uh, Bat Bunker shows. Kevin Batman Connery would be my he's number a Kevin one. Connery guy. So yeah, those are our just rambling and totally inane thoughts on the best Batman. So what are your thoughts on who is the best Batman of all time? Let us know in the comments below, or let us know who the worst is too. And like the video, subscribe, 
stay up to date with all the latest videos, that kind of thing. Share, hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Warburg, uh, so you can say it, you know, shoot me topics, stuff like that. I was gonna say stay up to date, and I already said that, and it's really late. It's like midnight, and I gotta get home. So, yeah, it's because you're old. You guys, fuck off. <laughs> you guys have a good week, and I'll see you next one. Fuck me, that was terrible. <laughs> you guys have a good rest of whatever the time of the thing you're watching this, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.